Say hello to the paint scope rifle, the most underrated and overpowered gun in the entire game. And before you go, oh, that gun is so slow, it's so slow. Shut up. Maybe. Let me rephrase that. The paint scope rifle is probably the most underrated yet overpowered weapon if used correctly. In other words, if you can aim. What's up guys, we're at a target range that I kind of stumble across just looking through some rooms on uh, Rec Room. And today I'm going to be showing you guys three techniques that I use that make me ABs at sniping in paintball. I'm going to show you guys the best way and the most efficient ways to be using the sniper and how to be a absolute god with it. Now you're probably asking, why the heck should I be listening to this Elvis wannabe looking flight attendant valet freaking guy that... Look. As someone that can average about 30 to 40, sometimes 50, 60, 70 kills every game just using a sniper, I'm pretty sure I got a lot to share with you guys and I'm pretty sure you should listen closely if you want to be really good at using this thing. So now I'm going to go and show you guys exactly how I do it. Alright, first off, shout out to whoever made this room. It's like a target range that um, I really like to use. It's really, really cool and nice and simple. It has some different guns here. It doesn't have all the weapons. But if you're looking to practice sniping, it's definitely a good place to come. So this room is made by Pineapple67893. And it's called Pineapple Target Practice. So if you guys want to come try out your, you know, skills here and just practice here without getting shot at in an actual game, then go ahead, check out the room, and come here. Anyways, so you go ahead and grab yourself a sniper, right? And I'm going to show you guys three techniques that I always use every game that I'm sniping. So I have this wooden skin on the sniper, right? And uh, it's the only gun in the game with a scope, so I guess you could say it's the only item that would scope. Anyways, the first technique I want to show you guys is called the one-hander, you understander. So this is pretty simple. You got one sniper in the hand, and you shoot. Um, every time I use a sniper, I always have my gun sideways because I kind of like to use this little bolt right here and line it up with this part of the barrel right there and kind of use that as like iron sight because I prefer to do that than actually using the, the scope. The only time you ever see me scoping down is if someone's really far away in cover and I, can, I have a tiny bit of like hitbox to hit and I can't do it like this way. I always have my hand stabilizing my gun and the only time I wouldn't be doing that is if I'm in close quarters where I gotta move really quickly, I gotta turn around really fast, because it's really hard to turn around with both your hands really fast. Um, so for the most part, I always have a hand stabilizing the gun right here. Right? That's like level one in sniper mode. So you wanna practice that first. You try to get good at doing this. Second thing you should probably practice if you're just using one sniper is your flick shots because there's a lot of people that will come out of nowhere, you won't be ready, and you're gonna have to bring up your gun as fast as you can. So that's probably one thing you should practice. So basically just bring up your gun as fast as you can and, and snipe. And uh, you don't have to be perfect, just try to hit the targets. If you miss, then just retry it. This is just for practice. Uh, the next technique I want to show you guys is called the dual wheel banana peeled. I have no idea why I call it that, but it sounds pretty cool. So you get yourself a shotgun or whatever gun you like as a secondary. I like shot shotgun snipes. There's a very good contrast in uh, range and weapons. I got this shotgun from over there, right? And it's got this blue skin on it. I wasn't expecting any colors on the gun, so that's kind of cool. Um, I guess you could say the shotgun really blew me away. Anyways. Um, so yeah, same, same concept, but basically what I like to do is I take the sniper sideways as always, and I lay it on my, f 
on my forearm not really um i used to kind of like hold it this close like right on my wrist but the problem with that is sometimes you shoot your gun and you're not you're not hitting anything because your gun gets in the way and also sometimes your gun starts to lose tracking like right now it's kind of losing tracking a little bit and sometimes it'll just drift off in your face you really don't want that when you're trying to play competitively so i like to to bring the sniper from my wrist and just slide it down my arm a little bit that way i'm still using my left arm as a stabilizer my right hand is ready to shoot if i miss so if i miss this snipe shot i got my shotgun quickly ready to aim at and if i'm coming around corners i can just switch which gun I want to use and which one I'm going to be aiming down side. So say I'm going long range, right? And I come around a corner here. I can just switch to my shotguns already aimed down sights, ready for me to switch. All right. The next technique I want to show you guys is called the dual snipers, no lifers. The reason I call it that is because anytime you are doing good with dual snipes in any game of paintball, there will definitely be at least one person that will say you have no life. Um, and that will happen without fail. But anyways, this one's pretty simple as well. All you gotta do is get good at using both at the same time. And so what I recommend is you hitting bo both shots on one target at a time and get good at you doing that. And not using the scopes at all. Because you'll be way more efficient and land way more shots if you're not using the scopes. You just try to hit the same target over and over and not miss with either of them. And uh, another thing you can do to practice using dual snipers, which is probably the best thing that you can do to get really good, is practice hitting two different targets with both snipers at the same time without looking through the scope. So basically, like this. Like I said, you don't have to be perfect. Just get good at trying to hit two targets at once. That way, you're you start getting really good at using both because i noticed that i'm dominant with my right hand and that when i'm sniping a lot of the times my left hand would miss the target and my right hand would hit it um so this is a good way to get good at hitting both uh see right there i miss at hitting your left hand as well so when you're using two snipers on one target there's way less of a chance that you're gonna miss if you're good at using both of them Now this room is really good, but if you can find a room with moving targets and try to hit both of them at the same time like that, um, it'll be even better. You'll get even better like that. Or you can just go in games and practice doing it there. That's really tough. It's hard to focus, but that's also a good way to do it. So that's basically the three main techniques I use. Now let's show what happens when you use them. <laughs> 